Hey guys, welcome back to the Model Railway. We are looking at one of the tunnels we made uh, on the previous episode. Now I have put some wing walls on it, a bit of grass, and well, I've just plonked two trees in. And that's hidden the holes. We're going to do another one in a second. Uh, we actually have two more to do. We're going to leave one, because so we're probably going to edit it. We might move where the tunnel is. Now, it's interesting while I was actually looking for the assets. Obviously, I was looking from the download station. It's the, the wing, which is the most interesting part here. There's another one. Wouldn't that be better with the grass? Now, I said at the beginning of the well, episode one that I'm going to try. <laughs> I said I was going to. Well, we, were, we have to now say I'm going to try where possible to get assets from Tain onwards because that's when the game engine was rebuilt. And so it would just be nice to actually have all the assets from the... Uh, from that, from that period onwards. Not possible. Couldn't find anything. Not this colour to go with this. So I then found this. I, I took off the date entirely and found this one. I thought it's perfect with the grass and stuff. But then it's packaged to which probably, I, I think that means that it's in one of, one of the routes, which is downloaded routes. I think that's what it means. But it's the version number on it. Here it is. Build number two. Build number two. So I show the website. Can I bring that across? Here we go. So build number two. There we go. 2004. So let, let's put that into perspective. This was made in 2004. Yeah. You get the difference. So that's build 2.0. This is 3.5. Now 3.5, I won't bring the other web page bug, is uh, trains 12. So if we have a look, it's got a name next dash FMA. So there's FMA. So it's possibly someone's done something with this. Again, don't know. But the point being, it's got a minimum build number, which is slightly higher than that one. So I feel a little bit better using that one than the other one. I don't really know, though, if there are actually any differences between these two. There may not be. They look rather simple, look rather similar. But Trains has updated through the years the way these assets are you know, brought to the, into the game. They have kept the old method as well, but slowly they take it, uh, them away as you as you go along. So if let's say this one is using an older method to actually get it onto the screen here, then maybe it will cause an error later on. And if this one isn't, hmm, well, maybe this one will be fine. Who knows? Right, we're going to get the heel now. So we're going to get the heel now. Grass. So we're going to try and place it over the top. Um, I'd say we're going to go this way. I don't know if that's wide enough. It should be. It's wide enough there. There's no reason why it shouldn't. We've got a height of 4. Let's give it a height of maybe 10. We can mess about with that afterwards. We're going to here. Let's say right click. So I used to right click and apply height. There we go. Now they're straight, so we should be fine just quite literally plonking this over there. Now I moan about lots of things, you know I do. But there's something I actually quite like, which is slowly as I've used this new editor, you notice, see these little lines? As we get closer to something, they start to show up. I like that. That's a good touch. Because in the old editor, let's say we're on change some track you have to put it on the track and then start messing around with it. if you want to edit one of these you have to click that you can just let near it and start doing it the little dots for the track there that's a good add-on yeah a big thumbs up for me from that right so let's raise up a bit raise up the middle one is that too high might be we don't actually need it that far back In fact, what we can do is raise the, t the back up, lower the front. Funny that. Why didn't we just do it in the first place? Now, if we then move that back, use this one to move back a bit. We're going to probably have to hide it again, just like last time. Now 
then maybe some walls just going down there. I haven't entirely decided how this is going to be yet, so... to do this? Should we lay that side down? We've got the same the other side. Do we get another one? So I think there's quite a few and most of these are the package ones. And I know I, I was reading in a newsletter the other day that they are going to be... Uh, Removing a lot of the uh, the appies with the the it's mostly a, I think it was more of scripts this time, so things which make things run maybe Steam or something like that. But I, I think it probably pays certainly on this build because we did get bitten quite a bit on the uh, the big build when we we're doing that. What do you think? We had a lot of issues. A lot of the a lot of the assets were old. The only thing, the only uh, search I did for that is to make sure it was free. Yeah, I think we can just put some bush in. Uh, let's see if we can actually find something then. Um, H. I don't know if I downloaded it. Again. So we've got lots and lots of branches. Back. No, okay. Wasn't what I was thinking of doing. Okay. Basically it though, isn't it? We've got, got the branch, we've got the, the trunk in there. No. Oh. One thing I was thinking of doing, that this is basically too high at the moment, we've got to start blending it in more. But I don't want to do that yet. Now I mentioned earlier that this one here, I might move it. We could even move it up to here. Because then we could have, and things just have a look, as I said, it's a nice little meandering, 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 yep. Yeah little line down here. Now the other change I'm going to make is I said that we're going to have two lines going up and two lines going down. We're now changing that. So it's one up, one down, one up, one down. It's still going to work exactly the same, but there's one train to go up that way and one train to go that way. The reason why I didn't want to do that is because I was originally going to put this into two tracks. I'm not. I'm leaving this as four tracks because this is going to go inwards. And this is what we're going to be doing right now. We are going to extend the hill. Should we do that first? Ground height. Should we get the ground height first? There. Boom. Boom. We've done it. We'll go home now, yeah? No. You plonker. Not up. Set height. Now what I'm thinking is... These two are going to be going across. Because over here, we are going to tier three. Something like there. And then we're going to go up again here. So I'll put some footage on there in a second. Um, what I did in Rolling Lion, Building Rolling Lion, was we had a, a sort of a lake. No, we had a little river and a waterfall. So I think we're going to do something similar here. Because this is the... We got, yeah, we can basically from here. We we'll do something like that. Maybe cross this way a bit more because as I said we want to get it's much more industrial this side. But we're going to have three layers, which we can have then trains running above and above. So if you're looking here, you'd see other little layers of trains. So where are we going to do this from? Okay, so this track is then going to go that way. So if we we got zero now. Now we've got a height of twenty. Back onto you. This would be like that, like that. Okay. 
And of course, we've got to mess around with these hills and make them look a bit nicer, but now's not that time. So our track's going to go here. We've got four tracks to get in. Is this enough space? It should be. Maybe not. Did you see that? I mean, you probably did, didn't you? Okay, well, let's back down to the earth then, grade it. Alright, now we've got to start to angle it a bit more. So it's apparent that we still need to we can get a little close to this. That should feel loud. What did I do? <laughs> No, I don't want to fill with something else. Stop it. I don't know what you're doing, game. What you think I want done. But it's probably not what you think I want, so don't do it. I still think we can get closer. Mm -hmm. You have to learn what that does, why it's filtering, and what, what it's filtering, really. But my thoughts are that this hill's quite far now. We've got a bridge going over the top. Um, we did this last time. Don't do that. See that bridge is... See that tunnel's gone. You... You're annoying me. No. No, I just did. Don't do it. Get back in there and stop mess messing me about. Yeah, I did it last night. Just a little quick look. And suddenly, I don't know what I did, suddenly the whole tunnel was all the way up there. I'm probably going to have to put a few more splines in here to make it work. I also think we're going to have to put a junction here as well. So I think it would be silly for us to have these here and not actually have some sort of junction either this way or going this way on both of those tracks. You're going to have to think about it. So are we going to set a spline point there? So we don't want to there as well. Now, the only problem I see, if we'll see on this, the reason I should have probably left, uh, I think we're fine. I was worried that these two tunnels are going to start touching each other. Right, so if we were coming from here, All right, let's see if we can do that. So we're going to apply the height. The height is going to be 15. Mm. Straight and spline, apply height, set on grind, smooth ground. Yep, yeah, you can still do that. But we don't want this side to be 15, do we? We want it to be, we say 10. And we're gonna move it across a bit. See where this is gonna go wrong, can't you? Hmm. 
No, we're still at 15 at the moment. We need to get 15 here. Because I'm pretty sure that's the minimum we've got for the actual height of the tunnel. Alright, so that we apply the height. Smooth ground. The smooth ground doesn't work on that. How about we lower the ground? Then move the ground up to the track. So if we do there, we go smooth. Yes, yeah, so you have to do it in the middle, you can't do it in the end. It doesn't work. Yeah, so we'll have a nice little bridge across there at least. Any point yet? No, I know you're 15 there, so let's. Here. So we do So we really want this to be on zero. Right, so let's let's make it. This, we can't have this at zero though. Yeah. You are done. Do it again. Plonker. Make this zero. By height. Press edit. Right, let's see how this actually feels. Let me raise it up a bit. I'm not worried about it being crinkly, we can work that out. Right, click edit. Now, click on there, apply height. And then we'll just mess around with it for now. Click on that, can I do it from there? The same here. Oh, see, different heights. Now, I said we could have that connecting, but we could also connect one straw up here. Let's come around here. See, there's so many possibilities. Why wouldn't we do that? Have another track going up here. Let's set the height on here a little bit more. So we've got the tunnel. The tunnel's there possibly going across. Still haven't adjusted the wall. We're going to have to do that. So what we do get is a tiered effect. We just have to work out exactly how we're going to get a train up there. Right. So we can actually just connect it. Now remember this is going to stay at the base height.
Tá. Aqui. We have to move that around a lot more, aren't we? No, come on. All because we're trying to be clever. Now let's set the, it's minus 644, okay, we'll set to zero. I think we've shown that we can't actually edit this on here, can we? So let's go to the Classic Surveyor and there, we're going to there. I did I do think I'd actually got rid of it. Right, well, we can see there's a problem there for starters. <laughs> Okay, that's better, isn't it? That's better. What was it? It's senior objects there. The good thing about this one, we can use Doom Tunnel. I can do that. I said undo that. Can I have a different one? Do I take it you don't want to do a different one? Oh, there we go. Good for you. No, I want to move you. Yeah. Last episode was called Tunnels, wasn't it? So this one has to be 20. We've got minus 4 at the moment. So probably this one's got to be 10. Actually, let's not bother with that yet. Okay, we might get away with it. Shift down again. Okay, there. Click that one. Ah, oh, all right. Okay. 
All right, we'll go for 10. So then we should be able to put five in these two. There we go. So what we'll do... Probably want to straighten that one. I cut the... Uh, no, I've got my bit. There, strain spline. We could put another spline point in to force it to stop it. Maybe we should do that. Uh, is that a spline point? I bet you the trash is. So we are missing quite a bit about the height here. I don't want to do that really, but well, we do have four tunnels. We can hide that quite nicely. And I think once we get some tracks going out of here, which we're going to do in the next episode, that should be quite nice. Um. I think what we're going to do around here, not quite sure, but we do have three sets of track, but I think we should make it a bit more interesting. Again, I think we should probably do the same thing coming back again, hidden. Maybe a track going straight across, hidden. What I really want to have is just trains just appearing and wondering, oh, where are they coming from? But that's going to be it. We're going to, have to start thinking about that next episode. More, the more tracks, we do have another track to come down here as well, so... Yeah, we'll start thinking about the next episode, and uh, yeah, we'll carry on. But for this one, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button if you want to see more. Please subscribe and press that ding-a-dong bell when you know what it does. See you next time, guys. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.